happened and I am now a married man. I got a lot of feedback saying that you guys would like to see a separate video on the wedding. So when we get back from our honeymoon, I'll put something together. With that said, because we will be gone for almost two weeks, I had to prepare something to upload during that gap. Because YouTube really doesn't like it when you take a break. And I would like to not ruin my channel. There are so many other ways to do it. And I'm not placing my bet on taking a break. So, I took some of the interesting things we did on Twitch and I edited them for YouTube. Because that is the most efficient way for me to make videos when I don't have time. Also, for those of you who are interested, the ring you can see in the background is my wedding ring. It was themed after Rice's world rune. But more info on that in another video. So now, let's have a look at Project Pike. So, I read the new Project uh, 2019 bios, so I kind of know what to expect. But I have not seen the new interactions. So let's have a look at that. Tin can man. Gonna cut him open like a big tin can. Is that, is that a really bad pun? Are we starting with a really, really, really awful pun? Is that even a, is it, that's not even a pun. It's just a really bad joke. Always right. knew you were a turncoat Akali. So, the new story of Akali, for the new project story of Akali is that Akali... Alright, so we know that there is the project kind of uh, facility where they are doing experiments, they are creating the skill robots, and on the other side, there is the Genetic, which is a group of rebels uh, in the same city who are trying to take down the Project Corporation because the Genetic group, the rebels, they know how awful the experiments are because most of the Genetic group are actually like former experiments from the Project Corporation. Uh, in the middle of that, between them, there is Vi, who is like the central um, detective. She's like the policeman. She's basically neutral. The new faction in the Project Universe is that imagine that the project world, the project city, it's called probably something else, I don't remember the name of the city, but the city has walls and it's really hard to escape the city. And outside of it, there's wasteland, there's scrap lying around, there is awful, awful stuff around. So when you escape the city, you're screwed in the wasteland. So the new faction are people who were thrown out of the city or people who escaped the city and survived in the wasteland. So these are Pike, Akali, Jinx, Warwick. Is there a fifth one? Anyway, am I missing one? Irelia. Yes. Um, and so these are the people who escaped and who survived in the, in the wilderness there. Uh, so, or wastelands actually, that's a better word. Um, so Akali did escape the city, but she is a double agent, right? So while Pike is like a kind of, Pike was an experiment that didn't work out. So they just threw him out uh, as garbage so into the wasteland, but he survived there and he rebuilt his own body. Akali ran and escaped into the wasteland so that she would see if someone managed to survive there. And she, she's trying to figure out like who wants to take down the Project Corporation. Because she is a, is a double agent and Akali is actually secretly working for the Project Corporation. So she's just seeking out who else survived so that she can find out who's the betrayer. This was way simpler in my head, but hopefully you guys understand. You want to stop Project, but you're covered in their upgrades. Smart. See, I don't know if this is actually uh, being sarcasm because it is smart to stop Project and you by using their own upgrades because Pike and his group they can't do that. In, in the wastelands, there is just garbage all around. So I am actually not sure if he is being sarcastic here because he he may be because he thinks that the upgrades are actually. You know, using their, their own weapons against them uh, would be kind of unwise because Project knows how those weapons work. So maybe he is, maybe he isn't. We'll see from the short story that is supposed to be coming out at any point. You're not taking orders from Project anymore, are you? Now, 
don't forget that the program skins are also part of the project universe because the uh, we got Lissandra, Camille, uh, Soraka, all of these are kind of helping robots in the city. I, I'm not sure if there is any more lore to them. Serves them right. Their counterpart are the Praetorians. Uh, I'll show you a hacker. Okay, nothing special there. Also remember, OBS and YouTube don't like each other, so if, if the video is a bit laggy, it will it will pass. I like that sword. Hopefully. I'm gonna cut off your arm and take it. Okay, nothing special there. Too dangerous, Aurelia. Wasn't too dangerous when you needed my help. We don't know anything about that. That line is a bit strange with Aurelia because their bios don't interconnect. So this may be foreshadowing of the upcoming story. Those upgrades, Jin. I think I'll take them. Of course, Jin is still a robot working for Let's Project. Let's see who pulls your strange jinx. Now that's cool. Because Jinx willingly joined Project because she willingly wanted to have augments. Then she got thrown away because she got a little bit psychotic after she got upgraded. Um, so it's cool to see that Pike maybe doesn't trust Jinx because one, because she got augmented and she now carries uh, like combined minds of other people, she's a bit psychotic. Maybe he doesn't trust her because of that or maybe because he knows that Akali is a double agent, he also doesn't trust Jinx. So that's also a cool twist that might be explained in the story. Katarina, I'll cut off that pretty head and pull out all of Project's secrets. Of course, Katarina is also working for Project. Fancy shield. Too fancy. You're one of them. Oh, I see. I see what's going on now. So Pike is suspicious of everyone who has any Project upgrades. Oh, I get it now, because he thinks that the shield is too fancy and that's why she's part of the project. Because only the project robots have like the best weapons in the city. I get it now. He's suspicious of everyone. I know you program billions of ones and zeros. Of course. Zero us all out. Of course, project uh, Leona is on the good side. <laughs> so she's not one of them. So your Lucian... Met a ghost who says she's your wife. Oh, that's a cool one. See, that's a cool one for two reasons. Three reasons. Number one, maybe it's just a ghost of his wife. Number two, um, when Pike was thrown out as a garbage, it was Pike's brain that rebuilt its own body. And as it collected parts of, of other dead robots, it merged its own mind with other robots. So now, Pike has a uh, project. Pike has memories of other people with augments. It would be super cool if Lucian's wife in the Project Universe, if her memories were merged with Pike. And that's why, because Pike is a little bit, a little bit psychotic, because he can now see like memories of other people. It would be super cool if one of his memories actually was Lucian's wife. That would be awesome. Also, the third reason, uh, because ghost, a ghost in a sci-fi universe usually isn't a ghost. A ghost is a... Well, how would I describe it? A ghost is like a super uh, stealthy agent, right? Usually. Uh, Starcraft has a really good description for agent... Uh, sorry, for ghosts. They are these sniper elite stealthy guys. So maybe a ghost doesn't mean that she's dead. Maybe she's an agent. He was the first. I saw him. Saw what they did. <laughs> oh! So Pike was actually still in the Project Corporation when they were working on Yi. That's interesting, because Yi was the first, we know that. We know that in, in the video, the, the teaser for Project Yi actually showcased the, the experiments they did, did on him. That is interesting. Your code, my code, pulled by the same strings. 
Yes, by the way, yes, Project uh, Pike was also a project uh, experiment. But maybe while they were experimenting on him, while they were working on his augments, he was still moving in the Project Corporation tower. So maybe he just like passed by uh, the room where they were experimenting on Yi, right? So while uh, I don't know if he was an employee, he could be. Maybe Pike was an employee. I'm not sure if the bio actually describes that. Um, but I def he was definitely experimented on. So maybe while he was the first to be completed as a project kind of soldier, because Pike was one of the next in line, he you know he was already being ex experimented on. He failed after. Uh, you were there when they changed me, when they made me a monster. See, see. Gatorina was there you after him. Part of it, Vane. Or before him. You made me this way. And now you'll die for it. Uh see, uh Vane was also part of the Project Corporation, but Vane escaped on her own. She willingly escaped, she willingly just cut her ties with Project. And that's why Pike is mad at her, because Vane was there when they were working on Pike. If you wanna help people so much, explain your sister. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, not this again, oh no. No, oh no, not this again, oh. <laughs> oh no! And I thought we were done with this! Oh no. Are we going to jump on the conclusion that, sh that he's talking about Jinx again? By the way... Jinx and Vi as sisters were never confirmed. Never. It was... The story never even hints at anything like that. Ever. Right? The only reason why people think uh, that uh, Jinx and Vi are sisters because... One... Vi mentions... Actually, does Vi mention a sister? Jinx mentions a sister. Not Vi. Vi is her rival, technically, but, she, you know, Jinx is, was, is just one of many criminals and Vi is just hunting them because that's her job. Um, but... Who was that? Was it... Someone had a quote. And that sparked it all. I can't remember who that was. It, was, it wasn't Swain. Was it Warwick? No, Warwick had a quote with Jinx alone. I don't know, I'm getting sidetracked. Anyway, it was never confirmed. Never confirmed. The, in the story, these two never interconnected ever. As in, you know, sister relationship. Uh, so, when Pike is talking about Vi's sister, that would be someone else, probably. Like, it's possible that... Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. Okay, you know what's important now? We need to figure out. Because every time... Oh my god, it's dawning on me. Oh my god, it's dawning on me. Every time... This controversy is mentioned... They always talk about Jinx, right? Because Jinx has a quote, you know, you, sh you should see my sister. And every time someone has a quote that mentions Jinx, um, it's always Jinx's sister. It's never Vi's sister. Is this the first time that someone mentioned that Vi has a sister? Because this is the first time we see both characters having a sister. Oh no. <laughs> oh. oh no. It's a bit confusing, but those of you who understand what I'm talking about... Ah, bloody hell. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, <laughs> let's keep going. Warwick, they made you their dog. Yes. Of course, Warwick is also an experiment. Whoa. Once a project, always a project. Yasuo is also an es uh, one of the genetic... Kill me. Kill me. Zed. His name was Zed. Oh, Zed killed Pike. And he's recalling... Or... Because Pike has many memories from many people, maybe he's recalling the memories of a different person. 
Maybe that didn't kill Pike, but someone else. Knew you were one of us. Alright, we know that I'll show you she's double agent. Rebellion. Okay. My voices don't like your voices, Jinx. Okay, yeah, because both of them are psychotic. Project Faro is dead. They were right. Yes, he did. Just Got another him. dog now. He did rebuild it, though. Turncoats die. Project dies with him. Okay. I you love the. You are dead. I am alive. Now who's dangerous? See, why is he mentioning dangerous every time he's against Irelia? Is that gonna be something that that will appear in the project story? Every time he's talking about Irelia, he mentions that you know something is dangerous. Which is strange. My voices win. Your voices die. Again, both, both psychotic. Name your cheap ass upgrades. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, Warwick. I'll remember you. Warwick. This is the first time I see anyone pronounce that. Just an after image. Trick of the light. I love how mad he's going. I know your face. I know your face. That's super cool. I know your face. That's super cool. Now you're all dead, just like I was. Take this and run. Don't forget. He's looking ready to face. Something's going to be like. Honey. Big word. I was like. I was about to say, this is the first time Riot added in a, a, like a legit laugh after a joke. Like, no one ever does that. Whenever a champion says a joke, the other champions never laugh. Right? They never do that. I love, I love that sarcasm. Words for a hologram. Come on out. We've got a city to burn. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a cool one. And not the only monster project. All right. Died. <laughs> Breathtaking. <laughs> Alright, that was a good one. Oh, that was a good one. Okay, that was a good one. I didn't expect that one. <laughs> but, alright, so the thing to take away from this, uh, we're screwed. There's gonna be more Vi and Jinx sister, you know, thingies. I still blame Ghost Crawler. For that one time when he accidentally said, Yeah, your sisters. While the writers had never actually wanted to straight up confirm it. <laughs> so, in the story, it was never confirmed. And remember, if it's not on universe, it is not canon. So, until the moment it is confirmed on universe, Vi and Jinx are not sisters. But this quote is yet another hint that it might be possible and they might be sisters god damn it where was it was it here actually i think it was here god damn it if you want to help people so much explain your sister <laughs> no oh god damn it Hey! Did you know that we have social media and Twitch where we talk about other league facts and stories? And did you know that we have need mugs and shirts too? The links to all of that will be below. And as always, thank you, come again.